Hi friends, this is Pankaj here and welcome to my channel Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to learn formatting paragraph and character styles in MS Word. In this tutorial you will learn how to create, modify, update and apply the new or existing word styles. So don't miss out, watch till the end and please subscribe to the channel for more useful videos. Let's start creating advanced paragraph and character styles in MS Word. First of all open a blank document and let's copy the text from here and paste it. Now here we can see that the document font is Calibri because a default style normal is applied to the whole document and if we want to change the font of entire document then simply go to styles gallery, right click on the style and choose modify. Here choose the desired font and click ok. The entire document font will change now. Now to create our paragraph style, first of all I select this paragraph and choose the alignment justify. Then click on paragraph formatting and choose first line indent value to be of 0.5 inches. Click OK. Now click here to open the styles gallery. Click on create a style, choose the name for your style and click OK. Our paragraph style is created. Keep the cursor here and apply the style in this paragraph also. But if I again select this para and change the font size to 12 point, then it won't apply to another paragraph. For that we have to go in styles gallery, right click on the style and choose update. But the permanent way is to right click on the style, choose modify and here click on this automatically update. Click ok and now reduce the font size and see it updated automatically. Now let's make another paragraph style with a different method. First keep the cursor here in this paragraph, go to styles gallery and apply the style normal again. Then click on create a style, choose name for the style and don't click ok, choose modify. A new window will open and here in style type choose paragraph. Now see. This area provides quick formatting and this is the preview window. Here we can change font, can change the font size and make it bold, italic or underline. Here we can change the text color and the result can be seen here. Let's undo this and check these settings also. Here we can change the paragraph alignment. This section is to change the line spacing of paragraph. Adjust paragraph before and after spacing and by clicking here we can add and remove the indent. Now click on this format button. Choose paragraph. Click here in this indentation panel and choose the desired value for left indent. Give some paragraph before and after spacing. Here I choose line spacing multiple with value of 1.25. Click OK. Now again click on format button and choose border. I choose border width of 1 point and here select the color. Now click here to apply top border and here for bottom border. Click OK and see, we can see all the changes here in preview window. Lastly check on this automatically update and click OK. Style has been applied perfectly. And if we want to apply in another paragraph then put the cursor there and apply the style. But if you want to make some changes in the style then right click on it, choose modify and make changes. Here I change the color and click ok. Changes apply to all those paragraphs where this style has been applied. Now put the cursor in this paragraph and click here to open the styles gallery side panel. Adjust it. And this time instead of going there and choosing create a style, better click here to create a new style. A window will open directly, put the desired name for the style and for style type choose paragraph. Make the alignment center, click on automatically update and click ok. Our style with center alignment has been created and applied successfully. Now put the cursor here. Click on new style, put the desired name for the style and for style type choose paragraph. Make alignment justify, 
Click on Format button and choose Border. Put value for border width. Choose a color if required. I clicked here to apply the left border. Click OK. Check on this automatically update and finally click OK. Style applied but there is a problem. Border is extending the paragraph. So for that click here. Choose Modify. Click on Format and choose Paragraph. Here make the after spacing 0 and then click OK and again OK. Now style is working fine. Keep the cursor here. Hit enter key to add a blank paragraph for after spacing. Now put the cursor here. Go to styles gallery. Apply the style normal. Click here to create a new style. Here put a name for the style and in style type choose paragraph. And in property style based on. We are going to change the default style normal with our own style parallel. And see here in preview window, we can see that all the settings of the style paraleft has been applied to this style. Now just click on format button, go to paragraph and here make left indent value to be 0 inches and give the desired value in right indent. Click OK and check on automatically update and finally click OK. Now see. How easily we can copy the settings of the one style into another style. Now let's make a style that has tab settings, left indent, right indent and hanging indent. First of all put the cursor here and use tab key to apply tab space. Now click on new style and put the desired name for the style. In style type choose paragraph. Click on format button choose paragraph. Click on left indent and put a desired value then put some value for right indent also. Adjust paragraph before and after spacing and click OK. Now again click on format button and choose tabs. I added one tab stop position at 1 inches. Click set and then another tab stop position at 1.25 inches. Click set and click OK. Make alignment justify. Tick on this automatically update and click OK. Well let's undo all this and adjust tab settings from another method. First give the tab space with help of tab key. Then go to rulers and click on it to set first tab stop position at 1 inches and set second tab stop at 1.25 inches position. Now click on create a new style and put the desired name for the style. Choose justify alignment. Click on format button, choose paragraph, click on left indent, put a value then put value for right indent. Adjust paragraph before and after spacing, click ok. Now again click on format button and choose tabs and see the tab stop positions are already set. Click ok, tick on this automatically update and click ok. Style is all set but something is missing here. So go to styles gallery, click here and choose modify. Click on format tab, choose paragraph and here in indentation choose hanging indent. Click ok and again click ok and see the paragraph style looking perfectly fine. But first undo it and let's do the same settings by another way. Go to paragraph formatting, click here and in indentation choose hanging indent. Click OK and see same settings are achieved because we have selected automatically update earlier in styles gallery. Let's put tab space by pressing tab key in all these paragraphs and then select all of them and click on the style and all the paragraphs will update to the style nicely. Now let's remove one tab stop and to set that again go to styles gallery click and choose modify. Click on format. Choose tabs, add the tab stop position value, click on set button and then click OK and again click OK. Style get update and applies perfectly. Finally let's make one character style also. Select this word, click here on new style, name the style. Now remember here that we making a character style. So in style type choose character, make it bold, underline, 
Click on the format button, choose font and make required changes from here. Let's choose underline color, click OK and finally click OK. So wherever you want to apply, put the cursor there and apply the character style. Let's say you applied the character style and want to remove it now. Then for that, click on the original style that you applied in the paragraph and character style will remove automatically. Now let's customize it little bit by putting some icons in front of left and right indent paragraphs. Put cursor here, go to insert tab, click on icons. I choose this icon and click on insert. Icon will insert here and I choose green color from presets. Click on convert to shape, click on icon, then click on format tab and from wrap text choose square. Reduce the size by holding shift key and position it. Now copy paste it and position it here in this right indent paragraph also. So friends, I hope you really enjoyed and are going to try these paragraph styles in your document to speed up your work and make the paragraph settings consistent and similar in the entire document. Thanks for watching. Please like, share the video and subscribe to the channel for more useful tips and tricks.